guys welcome back to my channel uh first things first my background is a little bit bare right now this room that you guys are seeing me in is very much so work in progress um we've been in our apartment for over three years now and it is just now almost done we have just a few more changes to make but yeah the background is still a little bit bare but you know what i'm not that mad about it i'm really not that mad about it um because it lets you like really focus on the makeup and for my makeup today, I thought I would kind of do something a little bit different. And I'm going to be sharing beauty products, both in skincare. I also have some hair care products. And of course, makeup products that I have either like used up a lot of, okay. I have hit pan on, okay. So let's just go ahead and get started. And um, I just want to make sure that I'm like recording properly. So let me quickly check that and then we'll go get started. I'm not really going to talk too much actually about skincare products except one product which is spf and i actually have two different variations of this spf first of all it's from shiseido this is their ultimate sun protector lotion you can't even see the name anymore because i pretty much have like this much left and i've used multiples of this okay this is such a great spf and it feels so lightweight on the skin but like hydrating still and it goes on completely clear. It's SPF 50. I haven't really tried very many SPFs quite like this one. Um, and I just always go back to this. Um, I also really, really love the stick right here. This SPF stick is amazing. It goes on completely clear, as you guys can see. You can use it under your makeup, over your makeup, all over your body. It's just such, such a good product to have like four on the go. And again, it goes on completely clear, which I love. Both of these, I just can't recommend enough to you guys and i think all skin types will absolutely love it okay now for my foundation i actually wanted to share this one right here from smashbox it's called the studio skin and again i don't know what it is sometimes you guys tell me you can't find these shades i'm gonna go ahead and link the exact one in the description box below um but my shade is 3.05 can you guys see that right there 3.05 so what i love about this foundation number one the color match you guys will see is incredible it's like such a good color match for my skin tone i love that it's like so lightweight and on days when i'm like okay i don't know what kind of foundation i want to wear or like i don't know what kind of coverage i want or i just want something really easy i just constantly reach for this foundation and i just used one pump and look how much product i still have left so a little bit definitely goes a long way you guys can see for yourself it just like covers everything so beautifully doesn't feel heavy and also stays put all day long so really love this also i really want to quickly talk about some makeup brushes as well so one of my makeup brushes that i have i don't know like four of but of course i'm not using it right now because all of them are dirty i need to wash them is the hourglass foundation brush picture right here that brush fam oh it's so good i have a lot of brushes in my collection but there's not really one quite like that one that i have it is so amazing how well it works to like blend out your foundation um so definitely recommend that i also really love real techniques brushes i actually recommend with real techniques to get their set the one that has this specific brush because this is so good to apply your foundation concealer all of that with real techniques also is just such a good makeup brush brand that's affordable but super high quality love real techniques okay now for concealer and this might be a little bit shocking to you guys but off camera i don't know how much i share it on camera but off camera i use this concealer all the time and i have kind of made a dent in it and it is the rare beauty concealer and my shade is 290 now i also have another shade which is a little bit closer to my skin tone but I actually really prefer this shade over the other one, I think. At, at least right now. I change my mind all the time. Let me kind of zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit better what I'm working with here. Um, but it's so good to just like brighten up my under eye area. And you guys can see this just blends out so easily too. I always prefer to blend out my, um, my concealer with a beauty blender. I tried a lot of beauty sponges. Okay, but there's nothing quite like the Beauty Blender. It's so soft and squishy and just like blends out your makeup so well. It's so durable, so well made. Definitely also like a like an OG favorite. But anyway, going back to the concealer, like look how easily it blends out. It just looks so good and brightens under my eyes really well. I also really like the thin consistency of the concealer, but it gives you full coverage. 
I love this concealer. Now this product, I really don't know if it's available or not. I probably should have checked. I'm gonna see if I can find them for you guys. I think this is available. So this is the Cover FX, the Perfect Setting Powder. Now, I just wanna say, it is so hard for me to go through a setting powder because I have so many in my collection. I get sent a lot, so I'm really grateful for that. But look how little product I have left here. Okay, like barely any product left. So the way that I like to use all of my um, beauty powders is I get some product on the actual lid of the powder and then just like get it, a bunch of it on my actual beauty sponge and then press it underneath my eyes with my beauty sponge. And then you want to just get the most product on first and then blend it into place. And that's going to really ensure that your concealer specifically, which for me tends to crease so quickly, doesn't crease throughout the day, especially right now, fam. It is like, oh my God, yesterday, I'm not joking, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> it was 100 degrees. My sister was having a birthday party for my brother-in-law. So we went there to help her set up. So they like obviously weren't expecting it to be 100 degrees. But oh my God, we were in like outside for most of the day. And my makeup completely melted off because I didn't set anything with a powder. So anyway, especially in the hot weather, you want to make sure to set your foundation and concealer with powder. Okay, next up, another product that you can't even see the name of anymore because I have used it so much. Maybe you can see it right there. It says It Cosmetics. Um, and this is their bronzer. And I'm so sad that I'm like almost done with this. So I'm just using it from the edges here. Um, this is in the shade Beach. And this is like the most perfect bronzer for my skin tone. It's like the perfect everyday bronzer. I think it's my top Top three definitely in my collection. And whenever I'm just like, I want a quick bronzer, nothing like too much, but still something that just like adds warmth and color to my skin and my face and still something that like shapes my face, I reach for this. Also, I'm noticing something so random happening on my face right now. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera or not, but like whenever I apply bronzer, it just kind of skips this part right here. What is going on? So if you see that, that's not the bronzer, that's just my skin. I don't know what's going on. So please just ignore that. Okay, moving on to my blush. And if you follow me on Instagram, this is like not a, su a surprise to you because I literally use this brush or blush all the time, all the time, all the time. And it is from Laura Mercier and this is in the shade Watermelon. I can't remember the last time I hit pan on any blush, but this one is so, oh, it's so pretty. It is basically a blush and highlight in one this is not one of those blushes that's like super pigmented um but it definitely obviously shows up beautifully on my skin tone and it's just like this like kiss of pink and as i have been actually bringing it up by my like eyebrows as well and then i even take it on my nose okay i'm gonna kind of rush through these products because i feel like i talked about them quite a bit this is the charlotte tilbury brow pencil and I just love it. I don't have too much left, just that much left, and then I'm done with it. I love it because it has this like angle to it and it's a thicker pencil, which is so amazing to fill in your brows if you're in a hurry like me. And especially with my brows, I just wanna be like quick and easy because for some reason I just don't like doing my brows. I absolutely love the color of it as well. Um, and so this is just like my go-to eyebrow pencil at the moment and I really recommend it to you guys Now for my eyes. I'm gonna keep it really simple I'm gonna skip eyeshadow altogether because the product that I wanted to really talk about that I have used for years Have really kind of made my way through but I've talked about so much recently that I think you guys are sick and tired of it Is the Robbie Brown eyeshadows. These are amazing truly um, very easy to use very creamy very pigmented long-lasting amazing I recommend the shade cinnamon. I recommend the shade bark and I recommend the shade Golden Something. Golden Something. Um, I do want to, however, talk about the eyeliner that I really love. And I just dropped it. Um, but it is from House Labs. I've used it consistently and I really, really like it. So first of all, this is a pen liner, okay? So this is gonna just give you a lot of control, especially if you are someone that's like struggling to get that perfect wing liner. You wanna use an eyeliner, like a felt tip liner like this. And I also like like the matte finish of this liner. I really recommend it um, if you are looking for that perfect long lasting liquid liner that you will have for a long time. Okay, this is my go-to mascara at the moment, the Lancome Lash Idol. First of all, this is what the actual 
mascara looks like the actual brush of it it's kind of like got this angle and what i love about this mascara the most is that it's just so precise because the brush is not very big it's just such a good mascara to really kind of add length to your lashes volumizes separates and i just i really really love this one can you guys see like how good it just makes my lashes look i love it okay we're almost done with makeup i promise but this product i feel like i've never even talked about it on youtube um and i was like wait i have to talk about this so this is from anastasia again you can't even read the label of it um but this is like a product it's like a brow highlight okay so one side is matte okay right there it's got like a really light beige pink color and the other side has a very subtle sheen, okay? I love to use the side with the sheen. I actually like using both sides to just like apply it underneath my brows or in the inner corner of my eyes, just to like very, very subtle. This is not gonna add like so much glow or, you know, shimmer to the eyes, but just a little something to open up the eyes. Um, if you guys are curious about the matte side, I guess I'll just go ahead. I should have just started with the matte. But I'll just apply that really close to my brows. And the matte side, I feel like, just kind of like lifts up your brows and just like opens up your face. Um, so I really like that as well. Next product I've already started to use because I just wanted to line my lips first and then talk about why I love it. So this is from NYX. I only have a little bit of this left because I used to use this all the time. I've kind of taken a little bit of break with it, but I had to bring it back for today's video. This is in the shade Ever Tajure, and it's like this perfect pinky nudie uh, lip liner for my skin tone. It's not like a dark brown shade, so it's not going to overly enhance your lips, but it's just like that perfect lip liner for the everyday lipstick. And then for my lipstick, of course, I had to talk about a MAC lipstick because you guys know I love my MAC lipsticks. I have to give a shout out to Mocha. Look how little it's left, okay? I've used like multiples of these back in the day. And that is because this is the perfect neutral lipstick for my skin tone. Look how pretty this lipstick is. I love it on my skin tone. I also wanted to share with you guys another lip liner that I cannot get enough of. This is from Shiseido in the shade Espresso again. And this is that dark brown lip liner. And I'm gonna show you guys how I kind of like define my lips um, with this lip liner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit and start to line my lips. And I almost always overline a little tiny bit. Because this is like a darker brown lipstick or lip liner, I will take one of my fingers and just blend the lip liner down into my lipstick. And I I just love how this looks. So that is it for all the makeup products. Now I wanna quickly just talk a little bit about some hair products as well as some, well I have one nail polish and I have some skincare products, perfume, all of that. Let's start off with nails. So of course I'm not wearing this nail polish today, but I wanted to quickly show you guys because I'm almost done with this and I just love this color so much. This is Essie's um, Polished and Poised and it is like the perfect everyday pink nail polish. It's not like a super bright pink. It's a very muted light pink shade. But I feel like this is one of those shades that's going to work for all skin tones. And I love the gel couture line. You guys know how much I adore it because it's long lasting. So actually the one that I'm wearing today is also gel couture. And this is pinned to perfection. So again, polished and poised is the first one, which is like a darker light muted pink <laughs> and then this is pin to perfection which is like a little bit of a lighter pink okay next up let's talk a little bit about some hair products so the first is the Kerastas. this is the um fortifying blow dry fluid now this is probably one of my favorite hair products i've ever used because it is such a good multi-purpose product so basically you can use this in your hair prior to heat styling and it will protect your hair from the heat. You can use it kind of like as a leave-in conditioner. I love to also use it to tame flyaways. You don't need a lot of product with this. Just like a few sprays, that's all you need. I really enjoy this product and I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, next up, another hair product. This one right here and I'm almost done with this. Thankfully I have a backup, but this is from Orbe and this is the um, airbrush root touch up spray in the shade dark brown and it does such a good job to like you know touch up the grays kind of fill them in without making my hair feel like crunchy or hard or anything like that it doesn't do that 
It's a really, really good product. So um, this is truly probably the best quality one that I found. Okay, now let's move on to some skincare and then we'll end with the perfume. The first is the Lancome Advanced Genifique Serum. I love this serum so much that I have two. One that I use in the morning time and one that I have at, for nighttime. It is such a good lightweight hydrating plumping serum that it will help to add so much hydration on your very dry skin if you have very dry skin like me um, it also helps to brighten up your skin helps with fine lines and wrinkles it just feels like a drink of water for your face it's amazing and i love that you can use it both in the daytime and at night love that another product that i have used so much of this of course is a brand new one and this is a jumbo one but this is the pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing mom and as you guys can see, this is like so new. But I can't even tell you how many of these jars I've used, honestly. It just melts my makeup, literally melts it in front of my eyes. And so easy to use and I just absolutely love it. Okay, next up again from Shiseido. This is probably my third one that I've used. The Wasu Clear Mega Hydrating Cream. This is so extremely hydrating that it feels like you're applying like a really rich cream to your face, not like a gel cream. And it is such a good makeup base as well. So I love using this in the morning time. I'm almost done with this one and I feel like when I use this up, I'm gonna have to get another one just because I'm obsessed with it. Okay, next up, this is a brand new one as well, but I have used so many of these in the past. It's from Dr. Dennis Gross and it is the Alpha Beta um universal daily peel pad honestly this changed my skin i'm actually using this very consistently consistently right now because you probably saw in the beginning i experienced some breakouts and those have since left a mark on my face you can probably see it through my makeup here and this one there and chemical exfoliators definitely will help with that over time it's going to take a little bit of time but it will help with that okay another chemical exfoliator for when i'm looking for something a little bit more intense it is the Ordinary HA 30% um, BHA 2% Peeling Solution. You apply this all over your skin, leave it on for 10 minutes, and then wash your face. And this will, again, leave your face so bright and glowy. And when you wake up the next day, you're going to be like, whoa, my skin looks amazing. And just because the product works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for everyone. But this really works so well for me. Okay, last uh, skincare product is this lip mask right here. This is from Fresh and this is Rose Petal Soft Lip Balm. It's a really nice, easy lip mask, lip moisturizer um, that again, you'll have for a long time, even if you're like me and use it every single day because it's just so moisturizing on the lips and you only need a little bit of product. Woo, I feel like I've been talking now for such a long time. Well, we are at the end of the video and I just wanted to quickly um, finish up this video with a perfume. So this is the Dolce & Gabbana, the one. And if you wanna know like what I smell like, it's almost always this perfume. Probably one of the most beautiful perfumes in my collection. I also just wanna say with this perfume, like with certain perfumes, you kinda of have to like reapply throughout the day. With this one, you don't really have to touch up at all during the day. Also think that this is one of those scents that's gonna work for like a lot of different age groups. It's like such a good scent, I feel like, for everyone. And I really love this. All right, guys, and with that, we have made it to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And just know, if a product made it to today's video, it's probably like one of my holy grail products. Not probably, it is. And I'm so confident that if you guys purchase any of these, you will love them just as much as I do. So thank you so much for watching. Definitely don't forget to subscribe on your way out and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.